and cut other services. Does this county need to look at raising taxes or fees to survive? Or are there lower priority programs that can still be reduced to balance our budget? And this question starts off with Mr. Lamarck. Thank you. Uh, the budget is very uh, very interesting right now because I think it's, uh, it's being played with in a political way. Uh, we're not going to see that budget pass until after a lot of these political things are behind us. Uh, the sheriff today faced a very, uh, very tough situation with, the, with a lot of the uh, prison deputies and uh, some of the other people there. Uh, I think what, what, what we're missing here is, is the dollars are going to keep going down as long as property values go down. That's, if that's the only revenue base you use for the most part to balance that budget, you're going to have less money next year. You need to look outside of that, create other enterprise funds outside of what we already have, and I think that the problem is we, we don't prioritize what's important on that budget, okay? We go out, and we, we heard the county commission, the mayor's the leader of that right now, we heard them earlier this year when they said they have 14.5% less money to, to get to spend, that everybody had to take a 14% pay cut. Well, you know what, where I come from, the 18, 19th, and 20th words in the Constitution are to protect domestic, domestic tranquility, and that means keep people safe. At the end of the day, if you're not keeping people safe, government is absolutely useless. Keep people safe, you, you deal with your critical infrastructure, and from there you reprioritize everything else. Uh, I, ha I haven't seen that from this kind of commission. I think we need to reprioritize where, where we're spending the money we have. No, we don't want to raise millage rates, we don't raise taxes. That's what happened there last Tuesday. Not before, uh, not certainly in political season. Uh, I, I would venture to say if somebody else was mayor right now, maybe the rate would have, would have been, uh, would have been uh, signed off. But the, the bottom line is, we don't raise millage rates. We deal with the budget in a priority way. And we've got, to look for, we've got to look for dollars elsewhere. We can't just rely on your property taxes because the value of your homes have gone down, and it's unfortunate. Sorry. I want you to repeat the question only because you said the word necessity or necessary, and I want to hear how you use that. Because um, I, I may pull it out because it's not my written part of my question. Well, so let me, let me phrase the, the question. <laughs> with declining revenues, in the face of a budget with declining revenues, that finds us in the necessity of closing parks and libraries, <coughs> laying off employees, and cuts to other services. Does the county need to raise taxes or fees to survive, or are there lower priority programs that deserve reduction? The first and foremost, $16 million from general revenue. Um, Commissioner Keisha will say there's a very small portion of the $3.6 billion per hour county budget that they have direct control over. But when you take $16 million from general funds and you commit it to bond interest payments on a bond you haven't even issued yet, and then cut the services in that evening, no, I think the money might be there. So the cuts weren't necessary. It's the priorities that are out of line. And again, the projects that are getting approved are not the things that are going to have a direct impact on our lives. They are things that are going to have a direct impact on that very small group of self-perpetuating businesses that have given now almost $500,000 to Commissioner Keachel's campaign. Almost $500,000. Is that an investment, or are those donations to the campaign? Because they got $71.5 million as a start towards a $1.3 billion airport expansion that a very small group of businesses are going to benefit from and profit from. And, um, you know, the airport has four terminals. I've never seen every single terminal filled. So I would really love to hear how necessary that airport expansion is. You know, we have a lot of money, $3.8 billion. Uh, I remember when I worked for four fifteen dollars an hour. Um, we even uh, make sure every vendor at the county gives a, what we call a living wage of $11 an hour. Uh, $3.8 billion, what does that come out to? That's about 350 million hours of labor to collect that money. There is a disconnect between how hard we work to make it in the first place and how easy it is to spend something that sounds pretty small. 3.8 doesn't sound all that big. 3.8 billion dollars, don't forget the billion, that's a huge number. By shifting our priorities, getting back to looking at this budget and seeing the millions of dollars that get allocated and appropriated every single week at every single meeting, we have more than enough room to provide the services we need. Closing parks, getting rid of buses, closing libraries, that's not necessary. Thank you. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not going to raise your taxes. People are suffering already. The last thing you need is additional property tax increases. My opponent, while he has served on the Lighthouse Point City Commission, has raised taxes twice. I believe we have to do more with less. The budget of Broward County was $3.7 billion. Now it's $3.3 billion. We didn't ask everyone to take a 14% 
pay the decreased commission level markup. We actually did not give our employees a raise. And last year we gave them a 3% increase and then we asked them to take five unpaid furlough days to help do their part. And our salaries are controlled by statute. So the commissioners all agreed that we would pay back five of our uh, days into the general fund. Look, when the parks are closing a day or early, no one's happy about it. I'm more concerned when you're losing your job. Most of the time, the parks are open. You may not know this, but on Sundays, one of the least utilized days for libraries, the way the, the, the system works with the contracts, they get paid extra on Sundays. So it was a smart move. These are budgets that have been produced by the experts, the county administrator and her directors working with us. And we've done the right thing. With, thank you. With regard to running Broward County, Recently, the Broward Workshop uh, had a study done by Fishkind and Associates to look at Broward County and how we spend money and how the cities spend money. Under Commissioner Lamarca's leadership, you know, the Lighthouse Point City Commission was the eighth highest city in per capita. You take their budget, divide it by the number of residents, eighth highest. That's just not the way we need to be running business in Broward County. And I'm proud of my colleagues for not raising taxes. Okay.